Hey guys, Chrome here. Hello, welcome to episode three of the RuneScape Resource Dungeon Romp, where we're going to go th to the next resource dungeon in the on the list. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and let's get moving. Uh, this is in Edgeville. You're going to need to go to the Hill Giant area, and you need 20 res 20 dungeoneering to unlock this dungeon. And once you get there, you'll get 1,600 dungeoneering XP. I also forgot to mention that for the previous video that you get 1500 Dungeoneering XP once you enter the Dwarven Mine one. Since I already entered it previously, I already got the XP. Okay. If you have a brass key, you want to go to this hut, open it, and go down there. But if you don't, you'll just have to get over to where we went to the first dungeon to go to Edgeville. And I'll show you the path to take and where to get the brass key in case you need to go get one. It's kind of nostalgic for me because I remember knocking over so many hill giants and having to go fishing and all that. So that brass key was like my lifeline almost. Okay, so we got to open the trap door. It kind of irks me that they made it a two operation deal to open the trap door and then go down it, but. It's fine. Then we go down it. And then we're going to go to the spot marked. I don't know if... We probably can't get there from this way, can we? No. It's going to cut me off, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're going to have to go north like we did to the door. Also, feel free to explore down here as well. Because there are some like low level monsters down here, so on if you need. It's not one of the best places to train, but it's interesting to explore to, you know, figure out where you're going and so on if needed. Alright, so this is where Vanaka used to be until they put him outdoors. Apparently, and now they just have Vanaka's. Now they. He's a merely a piece of paper. They replaced him with a note. No, just kidding. All right, you want to go south down here? Uh, if your combat level, I think, 44 or lower, the zombies will attack you, so be careful. Same as in here. If you're level 64 or lower, the skeletons will attack you. We want to go over here in this corridor. Ditto for these hobgoblins with level 50, 56 or lower. And you want to pick up, oh, hey, hey, awesome, working it, doing well. All right, so you want to pick up the brass key right here so that you can go to this ladder to make it easier to get in and out of. And so it would bring us inside where we were before inside of the, where we were originally outside of. All right, so but in actuality, to get to the resource dungeon itself, you wanna to go to the southwest portion of this. And here it is. I'm just like to pick up bones and disassemble bones and bury them and so on and so forth. Don't mind that, all right. So inside here, you'll get your 1600 Dungeoneering XP when you first get in here. And there are 11 hill giants, the wiki says, yep. Yeah. And there are also four limpwort root spawns. One is here. I'll just pick them up. They're, they're quite valuable. One is here, here. This is a little brown squiggles that look like, I can't say it. Here, here, here. And also in this corner, over here. So after that little uh, arrangement, that's worth 4K, and we just had to run around, pick them up. Now granted, this is a free-to-play dungeon as well, so this will be very busy depending on where you are. So this is kind of a bit of a toss-up as far as how busy it may be. So you can come here also to 
get XP on Hill Giants as well as the Limpwort Root Spawns, but on Free-to-Play Worlds this is likely going to be very busy, so that's something to be aware of. Anyway, that'll be the end of the vid. Keep on going with your RuneScape journey and your game life journey too, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.